everybody, and um, welcome to the Norwegian Wine Guy. Today, we're going to have some fun with Barolo. Yes, the king of wine, the king of Italian wines. We are in Piemont in northern Italy. Uh, it's a small place called Barolo. That's uh, one commune, and it's seven communes in total that can produce the famous worldwide wine of Barolo. And today, I'm extremely lucky because we're gonna go through some different age and years back in time. Uh, we're gonna start here with 2012, and then we're going to 2009 and 2005. And then we're going with the single vineyards of 2008, and really, really back to the millennium before us, 1999. A fabulous year of my life and hopefully Barolo's. Uh, the cool thing is uh, that uh, this uh, winery, the Dacio, is, uh, were bought in uh, 1974. And at that time it wasn't that expensive to buy wineries uh, in Italy. And uh, because nobody was that into wine. Now <laughs> you have to own a football team or something to buy one. So if you own a Premier League team or something and you see that, uh, okay, football is a little bit boring uh, these days, uh, sell it to somebody else and buy some Barolo Farms. And uh, please invite me to come down. Um, we start with the 2012. Oh, it smells delicious. It's... Uh, Red berries, sherry, some plums, a lot of acidity here. Beautiful, cool wine with a lot of tannins. Perfect with meat. Uh, it's cold, it's cold berries, um, a lot of cherries, and a clean, like perfect clean taste afterwards. You feel the mouth feeling and you have to lift up your <laughs> over lip because of the tannins. A perfect wine to beef. And, uh, the cool thing with Barolos uh, are that you can uh, really store it for so many years, as you see, even back to 1999, but even farther more as well. You have um, Barolos from the 60s, 70s, 80s that still are drinkable and uh, really good. We are going to the 2009. The cool thing with doing this is that you can see the difference on the years and you can see the difference of uh, if it was a good year uh, for good harvesting and you can see if they can last longer and shorter. And a lot of that you can feel on the acidity in the wine. This wine smells a little bit more acidity, I mean it's sour and uh, with more acids than the 2012. Let's taste it. Good tannins, but still so clean in the taste. Is the cherry taste is so good, it's so long, and it's the cool um, coolness of the wine, it's like a chill, cool wine with so good acidity. And I think 2009 is really much better than 2012. It's uh, three years between them, uh, and I still think that the 2009 can store much longer than 2012 because the acidity is there the freshness is there uh, but still you can drink it now i can enjoy it now with some meat and so on uh, we're going to the 2005 you can see this is much darker in color and you can see the difference they have some 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 way between the uh, 2009 and 2005 they decided to change label uh, I think they did that in a good way. Uh, smart move. You can 
feel the spices here. It's a bit more spicy on the on the smell, and but still the the freshness and the fruit are there. Some acidity. so clean cool the cherry flavor is there all over fills up your mouth the tannins are still there I really have to break away my lip now with some meat here oh this will that would be lovely so this is really good all, all the boroughs are uh, wine for for uh, for dinner or not you can or she can sit and drink it like I do now, but you should have some meat to it. You should bring it to a lovely dinner and just enjoy it. We're going over to the Fossati. Fossati, I think that's the pronunciation. In 2008, this is a single vineyard, and that means that all the grapes are from the same part of the vineyard. And that part is called Fossati. This is the this uh, this farm is the highest um, highest uh, farm in uh, all over Barrow. So and a lot of uh, wine journalists and the wine uh, personalities always talk about that if you have the highest wine yard, you have the best wine. And um, when you talk about the king of Barolo or king king wine of Barolo, the most famous wine of Barolo, and this is the highest winery of all of Barolo. So this is the king of kings, basically. And we have now the single wine yard. It's um, 2008. Uh, nice smell. dry fruit, cherries, apricots, good tannins, sweet, cold, clean, a really, really nice Barolo from 2008. And the showstopper, the Fossati 1999. This is 21 years old. You can see the color. It's uh, brown, brick brown. The smell is uh, little spices, cold fruit, cherries. Let's see if it's still working. I have some problem with the cork when I open it. But it smells smells wonderful. This one up. Some coffee, some chocolate, cherries, round, smooth, nice. This is a fantastic Barolo. So if you have the opportunity. To buy this, if you live in Norway, you can buy it on the Monopoly because everybody, all of them are available. If you're not, you have to travel to Norway, but you can't because it's Corona. Maybe you can call a friend in Norway, or you have to go to Italy, or just if you have the chance, buy different years of Barolo and play with it. My hashtag play with wine is still really working out as well. And uh, 1999, 20, 20, 21 years. 21 year old Barolo. It's great. Thank you for watching, and um, hopefully, you can uh, will sub subscribe to my channel, uh, the Norwegian Wine Guy. And you can uh, just press some buttons, buttons, and then you subscribe to it. And uh, hope you enjoy all my films because I really like to play with wine, and I hope you play with wine too. Signing off, and uh,